In this tutorial, you'll learn how to e-file forms W-2 and W-3. Prior to e-filing these forms, they must first be created within Drake Accounting. Please see the Preparing Forms W-2 video for more information. Before e-filing Form W-2 for your client, make sure that the client's W-2 e-file setup information is correct. Select the client from the client selector screen and then click edit. Go to the e-file options tab and enter the information in the W-2 file section of this screen. The BSO user ID is only required if you will manually submit files to the SSA. Click save. There are two methods for submitting forms W-2 and W-3 to the Social Security Administration using Drake Accounting. The first method allows you to submit directly to the SSA using Drake Accounting. So let's cover that process first. Opt in to transmit federal W-2 e-files through Drake Accounting by going to Firm, Firm Information Setup, and select the Transmit W-2 e-files through Drake Accounting checkbox and complete the process of accepting the contract. Next, create the W-2 file for bulk transmission to the Social Security Administration. Go to e-filings, W-2, create file. Information in the Employer Record Information section flows from Client Setup to this screen and can be changed if needed. By default, Employee W-2 is selected. If this file is for an on-the-fly client, select On-the-Fly W-2. Review the list of employees to make sure all W-2s are included. If an employee's W-2 shouldn't be included in the file, deselect them. If you are resubmitting a file that has been previously rejected, you would check that the file is being resubmitted and enter the resubmit wage file identifier printed on the notice received by the SSA. Review the rest of the options and make changes as needed and then click create file. When ready to transmit to the SSA, select e-filings W2 transmit file. Client files ready for transmission will be displayed. Use the selection checkbox to select the files for transmission and click transmit. Select the act screen to view file status acknowledgements. Now let's review the steps to create the W2 file for upload to the SSA using your own BSO user ID. In order to be able to upload W2 file to the SSA, you have to create a business services online account and add the SSA services suites for employers to that account. Go to ssa.gov and click sign in or sign up. Choose business services online. Click register and complete the requested information. Be sure to add SSA services suites for employers to your account. Go to Firm Information Setup and enter your BSO user ID. You will also want to make sure the client's W2E file setup information is correct. Select the client from the client selector screen and click Edit. Go to the eFile Options tab and enter the information in the W2 file section of the screen. Either select user firm level BSO user ID or enter it in the BSO user ID field and click save. The file needs to be created when uploading W2s to the SSA. Expand the e-filings module, then W2, click create file. Information in the employer record information section flows from client setup to this screen and can be changed if needed. By default, employee W-2 is selected. If this file is for an on-the-fly client, select on-the-fly W-2. Review the list of employees to make sure all W-2s are included. If an employee's W-2 shouldn't be included in the file, deselect them. The BSO user ID is assigned to you when you set up your BSO account. If you are resubmitting a file that has been previously rejected, 
you would check that file is being resubmitted and enter the resubmit wage file identifier printed on the notice received by the SSA. Review the rest of the options and make changes as needed. Click Create File. Take note of the file creation information as you will need to use this path to upload the file to the SSA. Now you are ready to have the file reviewed by AccuWage and then upload the file to the SSA. Still within the eFilings W2 tree, click Transmit File. Click the Go to the AccuWage website link. Log into your business services online and select Report Wages to Social Security. Go to the AccuWage online tab and then click the AccuWage online link. Under Select Submission Type, choose W-2 Regulars. When prompted, follow the path to the file you created and selected. AccuWage then reviews the file. Now upload the file to the SSA by going to the Upload Formatted Wage File tab and click the link for Submit, Resubmit a Formatted Wage File. Just like you did when finding the file for AccuWage, Follow the path to search for your file you created and submit. You have now uploaded your client's W-2s to the SSA. For more information, visit accounting.drakesoftware.com.